graphing quadratic equations in vertex form worksheet. When I look at this equation, I can immediately see the vertex, just like we did with absolute value. One, two, opposite of x, same for y. The axis is the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry. It's always the x value, so it's x equals 1 in this case. Is it a max or a min? Well, look right up here in front of that parenthesis. Is it positive or negative? If it's positive, it's a minimum value. If it's negative, it's a maximum value. So we have a minimum value. Now, we need to make a little table. x, y. Okay? This is 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, plus 2 is 6. 0 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1, plus 2 is 3. This is our vertex here at 1, 2. Then we do 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. We're now going to plot these points onto this graph. Okay, so negative 1, 6 will put us right here. 0, 3 will put us here. Um, 1, 2 will put us here. Notice we're going to graph 5 points, 2, 3, and 3, 6. And then we need to very carefully connect the points together for a nice smooth curve with arrows. Slide over to number 2. Again, vertex, vertex, opposite, same. This is 2, 5. My axis of symmetry is x equals 2. Now, is this number here positive or negative? It's positive. So, positive goes with minimum. And now we're going to have our t-table again. x, y. Our vertex goes in the middle. 2, 5. 1, 0, 3, 4. So when I plug in 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 plus 5 is 13. So we're up here at 13. When I plug in 1, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2 plus 5 is 7. These are going to be the same. Check them out and make sure. Okay, so this time we're going to have 0, 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Now, we're going to mark this with a little 2 so that everybody knows that we went on that axis by 2. On this one, we're going to have 1 and 7. 2, 4, 6, 7. 2, 5, 2, 4, Notice how we're going by 1's on X and 2's on Y. Okay? 3, 7, and 4, 13. And again, we want to have a nice smooth curve. Oops, let's fix this one up. A nice smooth curve that goes through our points. And if you have to erase, feel free to erase. Now, you have 3, 4, 5, and 6 to do on your own. Let's look at number 7, which changes things up. My vertex is at negative 3, negative 1. So I'm going to write my equation. y equals x plus 3 squared minus 1. Over here, my vertex here is at 2 zero. So this is going to be y equals x minus 2 squared plus nothing. Now when we come down here to our word problem, think about a football that's being kicked in the air. 
It's going to go up and it's going to come down. Does it look like our parabola? Yes, it does. When, we, when the football is first kicked, it was on the ground. The height was zero. Okay? And it says, what is the height? Well, we're going to find out how little above the ground it was. It's also at time zero. Negative 4.9 times 0 minus 2.4 squared plus 29. Negative 2.4 squared is 5.76 times negative 4.9 plus 29. When I squared, when I square, sorry, when I multiply, negative 4.9 times 5.6 I get negative 28.224 plus 29. And when I combine those together, I get 0.776 feet. So at time zero, the ball was barely off the ground. Now, when does the ball meet, when does it reach its maximum height? Okay, it would meet its maximum height at the vertex. Okay? Two seconds, well, two gets plug, plug in, plug in for T. Five seconds, plug in for T. Take your time, pause the video if you need to. You have all the skills you need to do a great job. 